I give you LEGO Mindstorms, the coolest LEGO set ever made. With LEGO Mindstorms, we can make robots to solve any challenge imaginable. We'll make robots that do our chores for us, robots that win drag races, and even robots that battle to the death. I've been building LEGO robots my whole life. And a lot of these trophies are from the first LEGO League, which is an international competition where teams build robots to solve challenges on an obstacle course. And in 2005 and 2006, my team won first place in the world out of 10,000 teams in 39 countries. For level one, we'll set up a small pile of clothes in zone one here on our bedroom simulation. The robot needs to be able to leave base, collect the clothes, and push them all the way over to the bed. We'll count the mission as a success as long as the clothes are touching the blue surface of the bed. This is a sample implement I've created to solve level one. We can attach it to the front bumper of this robot using these two pegs. Each of these blocks is a specific type of command. So this block, for example, is gonna tell the robot to turn on one of its motors. And I can give the robot this command by placing it right here to the right of the play block. Next, I'll give the robot a second block. As humans, we get around using our muscles. This robot doesn't have muscles, so instead it uses motors like this one. And our robots can use these motors to power wheels, forklifts, battle axes, whatever we want to build. In this program, I'm going to teach you how to think like me. How to use your imagination to create robots that make your life better. And finally, we have this type of peg. And this is special because on one side is a regular circle connector, but on the other side is an axle connector that can be used to attach into one of these types of holes. But we can fix that by bracing these motors across the top. So we're going to add a double brace. We're going to add two of these beams. These are the longest beams you have in your kit. They're 15 holes long. And to attach them, all we've got to do is put pegs in these motors. Now the bottom brace. Very good. If you have trouble clicking these in, the secret, there are two secrets really. The first secret is to have all the pegs on one side. So if I have, if I have two pegs on this one and then two pegs on this one, it can be really hard to get the right pressure to put it in. So always have all four of the pegs either on this beam or on the motors. And then the second trick is to use even pressure with both of your thumbs to press this in. Okay. So now we've got this part of the robot. We've got our, our motor attachment. Now we have to think about the front half of the robot. So the beginning of the turn is slow and the end of the turn is slow because uh, that's where the slowness matters, right? But the whole middle of the turn can be fast. 